the attack takes place. We can't really block it, we can't evade it. But what we can do is immediately go to our retaliation, which is a collapsing technique. And after we've hit that individual twice, then we're going to use our finger lock or wrist lock technique to take that individual down and then disengage. And of course, if we had to in the street, we'd break his fingers. But I want you to consider something. If he grabs me and my reaction is to strike him in the throat, in all probability, that's the end of the attack. If he's still standing and I collapse to that elbow, again, in all probability, that's the end of the attack. So this is only used if we really need it. And again, this is only one of the controls that we might, we might utilize. The person grabs, we move to the outside, we strike with the palm heel, we come in here and bust the arm. And all we're going to do is, right against the shoulder joint, we're going to drive him straight into the mat. He goes down, we put our knee into his shoulder and apply, apply the lock. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, we'll get into you know, a common attack on the street, which is a roundhouse punch. And the way we defend against a roundhouse punch is we block against the shoulder and against the wrist. And we're trying to stop all this, all this forward momentum by stopping the shoulder, stopping all this body weight. And here, obviously, we're trying not to get hit with that hand. So he comes in fast. We go here. Right from here, we attack the neck side of the head. We break the arm, lacerate the kidneys, come up, knee him, rotate him out, finish that individual off. Okay, now, if you want to, you can apply a finger lock or a wrist lock or anything else. That that you'd like to apply to them. He puts this up against your, your neck. One. Yeah. 